Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to another video here on Sidecam's YouTube channel. Today it's another match day vlog, it's Stoke versus Nottingham Forest. To be honest, I'm looking forward to it. Our performances so far in the early stages of this season have been top draw. Midweek we went to uh, the Swansea.com Stadium, as they call it now. We won 3-1 there, it was a class performance from the lads. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll match that with a great win today against Forest too. So uh, I'm going to keep this very short and snappy, let's make our way to the stadium. OK then, we're here with Match Day with Max, who is becoming a bit of a regular feature here on Sankam's YouTube channel. I'm taking over, Sam. I'm taking <laughs> yeah. over. How are you today, mate? Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad. Looking forward to an away day. It's my first of the season because we weren't at Coventry at the start, but um, it'll be a weird one today. The football isn't great for Forest at the moment. I'm sure we'll get on to that in a minute, but I think a lot of fans are just turning up for the occasion really today, Sam, because it's so good to be back after the last 18 months, isn't it? Definitely. I mean, with Stoke, we've had a fairly solid start to the season. We're fifth in the league coming into this fixture. Year. It's very early days to kind of predict where you're going to finish when it comes to May, towards the end of May. How are you thinking of Forest's start? It's been pretty shaky, hasn't it? It, it? It's it's been worse than shaky, Sam. It's been really, really poor. I'd like to dress it up. I always try and give a positive view on it, to be honest with you. But you can't really give a positive view on it. Um, I think the trouble is, is there's been a lot of pressure. I mean, Chris Shooton's already under so much pressure uh, four games in but you've got to remember he had 10 or 11 games it was even more than that I can't remember the exact number last season when fans weren't there at the city ground now the fans are back at the city ground and watching games they're criticising his football a lot more they're caught, some people are calling it um, you know old style we need a modern manager who knows Forest haven't signed a lot of players we've signed three or four and that's not a lot and as much as we signed 10 players last season but those 10 players were bang average yeah bang average players now I'm gonna ask you the do or die question really here I don't know what you're gonna say are you a Chris Hewton in or out today Max? Um, I'm a Chris Hewton in today because I'll get behind whatever manager um, for whatever the game because you know I think Forest fans have got to get behind him however if he loses today then I think it'll probably be the right time for him to go Sam um, possibly they might wait until Derby next week but I'd rather perhaps sack him and put a caretaker manager in if we lose today but Oh, it's a weird one because Forrest sack a manager every year but we've also got to remember that it's down to the players on the pitch um, and perhaps they need to you know, start asking questions and people need to start asking questions against them. However, I think it comes from the style of football and the style of the football recently hasn't really been enjoyable to watch at all. It, it, it is not a thriller so Stoke fans might be falling asleep if it's like a nil-nil draw today or something. Well, thank you very much, Max. And just really quickly, predictions for the game. Maybe I'm, I'm saying I'm saying a clean sweet three 0 Stoke. What about you? Positive one one. But Sam, if I'm <laughs> but Sam, if I'm going with my head, I'd probably say three 0 to Stoke. Yeah. That's what we like to hear. Come on, you Stoke, and thank you very much for your time, Max.
Rankic. He's world class, that man. Oh! He's gone for the Scorpion. Oh, lad. Stadium, Stoke nil, Nottingham Forest nil. It's been a game where both teams are really lacking the cutting edge. That final ball is going to be the one that wins the game today. I'm sure it'll just be a one nil. I don't think there's going to be any more any more goals than that in the second half. And hopefully Stoke will be on the right end of that score line. Let's get into the second half then. Come on, you potters.
So it's finished here, Stoke 1, Nottingham Forest 0. A top performance from the boys, absolutely loved it today. And so did every one of those Stoke fans in the stadium. They were in full voice, everyone was loving it. And it just seems to be a great buzz around the stadium, the players. You could see Ostergaard was loving it at full time there, just as much as the fans were. But hopefully we can uh, continue the form we're in to Fulham next Saturday. I hope you've enjoyed another match day vlog. We're going to keep those videos incoming as quick as we can. And that's Sam Can. Peace out. Come on, Stoke.